Well, doctors and hospitals are bracing for an unprecedented winter of viruses. Despite a downward trend in COVID-19, flu cases are already rising in some parts of the country. This season expected to be worse than last, and vaccine rates have been dropping since the start of the pandemic. UW Health Chief Quality Officer Dr. Jeff Potoff is back with us. Good to see you Welcome again. Welcome back. Good to see you. How are you guys? Good. How are you? I'm good. Vaccines, vaccine, vaccines. <laughs> Yeah, if you're not vaccinated against some of these respiratory diseases, particularly influenza, and if you haven't gotten your COVID booster, uh, you could have a little more rough time this late fall and into winter than those folks who keep up on those. And we're worried about it uh, because most things with COVID are looking good. So adoption of these new vaccines, especially for those older people, isn't great. And we haven't really had a flu season for two years. So I guarantee you there's a lot of people going, ah, maybe I'm just going to skip that flu shot this year. And this would not be the year to skip it. Mm -hmm. And we've been watching Australia. And, and Europe. Yep, so Australia, oh, for, Australia flu. for flu, yeah. right? but yeah. Europe for COVID, we're starting to see increased cases in France, the United Kingdom, and that throughout the pandemic has kind of been our, our early warning or canary in the coal mine. When we see cases increase there, we typically start to see it on the East Coast, Midwest, and then West Coast. So and we're not seeing like huge surge, but you know, COVID making a little bit of a comeback as it gets cooler, we go indoors, that's probably going to happen. And we were just talking about uh, the Omicron variant. Are the surprised all of us Christmas time last mm -hmm. year. A lot of people are sort of letting their guard down and there's not a lot of mask wearing around. Do you think we should be more on guard as we head into the winter? Yeah, I think, you know, right now in the community, COVID levels are relatively low and it's okay to do these things, but probably not okay to say, hey, COVID-19, like that's over, that's a thing of a past. We have to think of it as something that's, you know, going to be with us and then take those steps to protect us because a lot of things like vaccines, you have to get it before you're sick. You want to get it before the, the next surge happens. Uh, so we have to have that top of mind. We should be getting those bivalent boosters uh, and we shouldn't be skipping those flu shots this year either. And people are getting COVID, I mean, in the newsroom all the time. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. surprising. If, you know, during the height of it, nobody got sick, and now we're letting our guard down, and it's a virus. Right, and we know how this spreads. All of us are experts now on how COVID-19 <laughs> spreads, and, you know, taking our masks off, getting all together, and, and doing fun things, that's how we see it spread. So, luckily, we don't see as much severe disease, and there's treatments that help, but, but yeah, absolutely, it's not gone. It's just cases are lower than they've been before. The CDC mentioned that it's tracking three new variants. What What is that about, and is that a cause for concern? Yeah, not a cause for concern yet, but um, because we continue to have transmission of COVID-19, uh, this virus keeps on trying to be a better virus. It's a real go-getter. So now we have kind of sub-sub variants of Omicron. And when they start to show up in higher numbers, uh, but still low, 2 3% of cases, we pay attention because that suggests that that variant does something, is a little bit better at being a virus than our current Omicron variants. We want to make sure that that doesn't uh, become a dominant strain, or if it does understand it, what does that do in the sense of uh, severity of illness? What does that do as far as vaccine protection? Uh, so none of these are, you know, clear front runners, but they're on our radar. An overachieving virus. Great. For sure. <laughs> Doctor, thanks for being with us again. Thank you. See you next week, and we'll have a final check your forecast coming up.